write another pass examination paper question. So this was uh, an A-level core mathematics C1 uh, paper question from the year uh, January 2010 and this is question number three of that paper. So let's have a read. The line L1 has equation 3x plus 5y minus 2 equals 0 and in part A we need to work out the gradient of L1. So the idea here being uh, if it's possible to rearrange this in standard form, so by standard form I mean in the form y equals mx plus c, and it certainly is possible to rearrange this equation in this form, and by doing that um, the coefficient of x or the term in front of x will then be the gradient of our line so that will give us the gradient the coefficient of x in the equation this equation here but rearranged in this form so we call this standard form so let's rearrange the given equation in standard form i.e. in the form y equals mx plus c. So back to my favourite colour blue. So we have, let me copy down that equation from the question, 3x plus 5y minus 2 is equal to 0. So first of all, let me take the minus 2 and the 3x to the right hand side, giving me 5y is equal to 3x to the right, minus 3x minus 2 to the right plus 2 and if I divide both sides by 5 so remember we need it in the form y only equals mx plus c so let's get rid of this 5 let's divide um, every term by 5 to give us y is equal to minus 3 over 5x plus 2 over 5 So we wrote our equation in standard form and as I said over here the coefficient of x will therefore be the gradient of our line. So this term here the coefficient of x is minus 3 over 5 so m is minus 3 over 5 and that is our gradient of this line so that's the gradient of the line L1 to be particular. So let me just say, just to close, uh, therefore the gradient of L1 is equal to minus 3 over 5. And then we're done. Right, the line L2 is perpendicular to L1. So L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the point 3, 1. So L2 passes through the point 3, 1. So that's uh, another important thing to know for part B. Because part B, we need to find the equation of L2 uh, in the form y equals mx plus c, where m and c are constants. So this part of the sentence, so L2 is perpendicular to L1. So remember the condition, when two lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradients equates to minus 1. So with that being said, this L2 is perpendicular to L1. We know the gradient of L1. So the gradient of L1 from part A is minus 3 over 5. Let's use that and this condition to work out the gradient of L2. So let me continue over here. So if I let M1, M1 is the gradient of L1, so M1, I'm going to call that minus 3 over 5. Okay, and therefore the gradient of L2, so we need the gradient of L2 to work out the equation of L2. So the gradient of L2, let me call that M2 using this condition for, t for when two lines are perpendicular so let's apply that condition so m1 times m2 is minus 1 m1 is minus 3 over 5 
and if I rearrange for m2, m2 is minus 1 over m1, so it's minus 1 divided by, and m1 is minus 3 over 5. So minus 1 over minus 3 over 5 is 5 over 3. So 5 over 3 being the gradient of L2. Now if we refer to the question, so L2 passes through the point 3, 1. So we know the point where, where the line L2 passes through. So we can therefore use this formula. So to work out the equation of L2. So this is what, we, what, we, what we're required to do. We can use this formula, y minus y1, that is m into x minus x1. So re with regard to the formula, x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the points that the line passes through. So according to the problem, this line L2 passes through 3 and 1. So x1 and y1 are therefore 3 and 1. M in this formula is the gradient of the line. Gradient of the line is M2, which is 5 over 3. So let's replace the data into this formula, to giving us Y minus. Y1 is 1. That is equal to M, 5 over 3, into X minus, so X minus X1, being 3. Let me get rid of the brackets. So on the left, y minus 1 is equal to 5 over 3 times x is 5 over 3x. 5 over 3 times minus 3 is minus 5. And if I therefore take the minus 1 to the right, we're going to have y is equal to 5 over 3x minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. So that should be the solution to part B. So not only that completes part B, we've completed the question in its entirety. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, be sure to like and subscribe this video for more content like this. And I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you.